According to statistics, the birth rate in Japan is falling every year, and the demand for sex dolls is increasing. Scientists suggest that in the land of the rising sun, where loneliness is considered the norm, such a trend can seriously aggravate this problem. The first signs. This attraction was first noticed in 2016. Japanese Shinji Nakajima, who has a wife and two sons, moved and started living with a plastic doll. A 61-year-old businessman bought an apartment in Tokyo and lived and cared for a sex doll for six doll for six years. In his interview, the man states that he initially bought it to meet his needs because his wife stopped arousing him, but over time, he became attached to her. Today, Sinji is officially married to a robot. He does not part with her anywhere. They go on dates together, walk the streets, visit shops, and even cinemas. The Japanese claims that he does not want a real girl to be around. The situation in Japan today Japanese men increasingly prefer sex dolls to avoid problems with real girls. Officials say that in 2018, the birth rate of children fell by 25,000. Nobu Tanaka, a doll seller, shared his opinion. He believes that intimacy with a doll is more pleasant and safer than with a real girl. Such a thing will not cause heartache will not betray, will not nag, and will never even refuse. Therefore, his company is trying to do everything possible to bring them as close to reality as possible. Investigators in this field are tasked with teaching robotic girls to move and experience orgasm. They are already among us. Robots with artificial intelligence a silicone body, and a soulless gut. In Japan, men are increasingly buying sex dolls in order not to bother about the problems that arise in relationships with real women. The birth rate in the country is rapidly declining, and this can lead to a real catastrophe. Why Japanese scientists rebelled against silicone dolls? Learn from our material. Sex robots can lead to a decrease in the birth rate, up to a national catastrophe. Single Japanese men increasingly prefer fake love with dolls to traditional relationships with real women. The population of Japan is declining both due to the low birth rate and due to the fact that people in the country are gradually becoming an endangered species due to the spread of robots in their lives. The mortality rate is significantly higher than the birth rate, and the consequences of this can be catastrophic. Dr. Kate Devlin, a lecturer at King's College London, says that sex robots can exacerbate the demographic Christ price. The increasing popularity of silicone dolls was highlighted in the documentary Substitutes. His main idea was the motif of loneliness and alienation, an alienation which has become a national feature of the Japanese people. But sex robots are popular not only in Japan, they are sold all over the world. The manufacturer of silicone dolls Dutch Wives in 2017 sold 2,000 toys worth 4,600 pounds each, and this is only to Japanese customers. Kanako Amanyo, an expert on demography, says, The biggest problem in Japan is the decline in the birth rate and, as a result, the population. This is a national problem. We have become a species that is on the verge of extinction. Whether there will be an invasion of robots on our planet, the future will show. But sex dolls are already replacing real women. Perhaps men simplify their lives in this way. Or maybe they just don't have enough attention and female affection and female affection, and they are looking for solace in silicone Imagine hugs. Imagine a world in which robots drive public transport, work in factories, cook in restaurants, and do the dirty work entrusted to them by people. In Japan, such robots have long taken root and are gradually gaining popularity in other countries of the world. Modern machines are blurring the line between a robot and a human. Sexy Geminoid F is proof of that.
A female humanoid visited Hong Kong. Jiminoid F chatted, saying and smiled at the camera. Robotics guru Hiroshi Ishiguro taught his child 65 behaviors, making him one of the smartest robots in the world. The last time Ishiguro appeared on the front pages of newspapers was in 2006 when he made an exact copy of himself. Jiminoid High 1. Then the Seen News Channel called the scientist one of eight geniuses who will change our lives. Two years later, the British broadcasting company BBC released a documentary called Man Machine. According to Ishiguro, previous models lacked responsiveness and attractiveness. F has it all. Perhaps the main difference between F and Ishiguro's replica is the number of micromotors that control the robot's behavior. If Geminoid High 1 has about 50 actuators, then F is only 12. Optimization allowed to reduce the cost of the humanoid to $110,000. The creator hopes that this will help to popularize the product. With the help of electronic signals of the built-in computer, engineers managed to simulate human behavior. Among other things, the robot was taught to frown and smile. Ishiguro is sure that the scope of F is unlimited. For example, a female robot can be used as a mannequin or a service worker. But can a robot become a close friend? Ishiguro thinks he can. According to him, having the right technology, it is possible to teach humanoids to think as well as human emotions. The most human of all robots has been demonstrated by Japanese scientists, and this robot is female. The android's name is Replica Kwon, and he looks like a pretty Japanese girl, the BBC reports. Her skin is replaced not by hard plastic, like other robots, but by elastic silicone. A whole set of sensors and micromotors allow her to turn and react to what is happening almost in the same way as a human does. She blinks her eyes and moves her hands in a very feminine way, and even pretends to breathe. Its creator, Professor Hiroshi Ishiguru from Osaka University, says that someday robots will be able to trick us and make us believe that they are people. And the replica may be the first step in this direction. It is unlike any mechanism that we have ever seen, with the exception, perhaps, of science fiction films. She was created very similar to a human, and although she can only sit for now, but there are 30 one-power drives in her body. The drives are powered by an air compressor and are programmed so that it moves very much like a human. Thanks for watching. Put likes and subscribe to the channel.